happening there. Um, uh, Senator, I would be remiss if I didn't ask you also a key question about leadership in the House uh, or in the in the Senate uh, and in the House. Um, you have people that are having medical issues and seriously uh, cognitive issues in their ability to do their job, not just Joe Biden, which is well documented, but you have Steve Scalise, for instance, uh, the majority leader in the House who's fighting, unfortunately, uh, blood cancer diagnosis, and we wish him nothing but the best. Senator Feinstein, Senator Fetterman are also dealing with hard, difficult issues, as well as the Senate Minority Leader, Mitch McConnell, who's had two medical episodes. Can these people continue to be in leadership positions, let alone serve in their capacities in the House and the Senate? Jason, I think the one that deserves our attention at the top of the list is President Biden, who is to be the leader of the free world. And one of the things that Americans should always want is for our enemies to fear us and for our friends to know that they are our friend and we're going to stick with them. And when you see Joe Biden struggle with words, with days, with times, with places, then it drives home the point of how important it is to have someone who is capable in leadership. And quite honestly, I don't think anyone wants to have a president, Kamala Harris. But Senator, I, I do need to ask you about Mitch, Mitch uh, McConnell. I, twice he's been at the microphone and had a dramatic pause. There's some belief that he had a, you know, an accident, a slip, a fall, perhaps a, a uh -huh. concussion. Can he continue to lead the Senate Republicans in that capacity? I've talked to people who were with him right after that, and he was alert and fine and moving forward, asking questions, uh, very involved with the meeting that he was attending, and seemed to be on top of his game. Senator Marsha Blackburn from the great state of Tennessee, 